You may be familiar with the acronym SGARS, second generation anticoagulant rodenticides. I know it just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Anyway, to toxic rat poison, which effectively kills rats and mice, and by ingesting the poison animal, kills creatures at the top of the food chain as well. Animals like owls, eagles, hawks, and even household pets. When concerned area residents learned that the New England Aquarium in Boston was using SGARs to control the rat population, they started a petition drive to end it and won. Here's a voice message received just last week from the New England Aquarium. Earlier this year, we began exploring alternative control methods with the goal of moving away from the use of SGARs. This is part of our limited strategic rodent control program to protect the safety and health of the animals that live at the aquarium. And I just wanted to let you know that we are no longer using SGARs. So we have discontinued use of SGARs on our property. So thank you so much for reaching out. It's definitely a concern we share. One Arlington resident who was alarmed when she found out about the use of SGARs at the aquarium was Laura Kiesel. She's the founder of the group Save Arlington Wildlife, an organization committed to protecting those creatures at the top of the food chain. Do you find it a little strange that uh, an institution that claims to want to uh, take care of animals and put them in a safe environment are, are using ESCO? I found that very bizarre. Yes, that's and that's why we targeted them for the petition. I mean, obviously, a lot of places are using SGARs. They're they're very common. But when it's an organization that is dedicated to wildlife conservation to be using that, that's pretty notable. And that also hopefully means that we have more leverage for them to set an example, because if even the places that are supposed to do better are using them, then that's that's a problem that we need to address. So we appealed to that aspect of it, like please set an example and like phase these out. Um, they were using, uh, I hope again, I'm pronouncing it correctly, bromethylone, bromethylone which is an SCAR because they're labeled. Um, and there were several bait boxes. One of them were, was right near the sea lion exhibit. So I also mentioned in the petition and to my emails for them like, you know, especially with all, all the rain we're having, you're not supposed to have bait boxes near water because it, it, the, it can flood and the bait can actually get into waterways. And I, I was concerned about the, their own captive animals. I don't know if a mouse or a rat were to get loose near the sea lion exhibit. I was like, would one of them eat it, eat a, a rodent? Like, I know that's not their primary diet, but it feels like it's possible and then they could get sick. So it's just not just for the wildlife out there, but for their own captive animals. Laura says that she hopes that other institutions right here in Arlington piggyback off the New England Aquarium's decision to rid their property of SGARs altogether. If you want to learn more about SGARs or if you just want more information on how these toxins hurt our wildlife, just go to Laura Kiesel's website, savearlingtonwildlife.org. Again, that's savearlingtonwildlife.org.